Goodness, hope this is not another red flag. Now, if you notice in the video, there's an ice cream truck coming by, which is kind of weird on a February. And the song is playing is the ice cream truck tune is actually a racist song called Nigger Love Watermelon and stuff. And this is how it sounds. <laughs> So the reason why I'm sharing this with you because I'm doing this video and I didn't realize that I was saying that I'm looking for a sign to let me know if I'm doing the wrong thing or the right thing. And like I said, therefore the universe be sending me stuff. So I want to hear how you feel about that as well. Okay. Now remember, listen to the ice cream truck on February the 14th. It's freezing outside and just so happened to be going by. Okay, now listen to this and tell me what you think. Is this the universe this warning me? Person is trying to convince me to leave. Um, be very supportive and stuff like that, of course. And I'm still trying to do a lot more research and stuff on this person to make sure that it's legit and stuff. You know, background check in there. So, um, like I said before, it's a white person and stuff like that. No one's got that. You know, I always feel like it's that insecurity when it comes down to the the um. The race mixing, not to have a problem with races, obviously. I think it's a wall. The mother lips. But um you know, it's just always that uncomfortableness. You know what I mean? It's like when you're uh, not that I haven't been in this setting type three, four, because I have before. But it's just that uncomfortableness as far as going this to this extent. Now, um, there's a lot been said on the table. I'm not gonna share that with you at this present time. Um it's just a lot, you know what I mean? And it, I think the, the problem with me is, remember I did the videos prior to saying I just want to pack my bags and leave. And now I finally get the chance to pack my bags and leave. And a lot of times I've been doing videos and stuff in reference to um, just telling y'all goodbye. And not really bye-bye, you know what I mean? But like a goodbye to this world and moving forward to another world. As far as the setting. And the thing about it is that I wanted to leave a long time ago, which you realized before, if, you, if you've been watching, you know I have. And I've been very unhappy with a lot of things and stuff. And I understand people said, well, you know, don't take a chance, take a chance. Back in the day, I had talked to my cousin, I went to move to Georgia with him. I would take a chance with him, but he stopped taking, I don't know, I don't know, listen. I already suffered from abandonment issues. I don't need every time I try to reach out to someone, they abandon me. Like my little cousin did, but at the day, that's another story. I'm not gonna go there, but here is a person that's willing to work with me and move me forward and take me out of this situation. Not this is a situation, I mean, but got my back, you know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be kumbaya because I don't know, you know what I mean? But of course, you'll be there with me because <laughs> you'll be 
I remember when they put the child like, wait, y'all need to help me get out of here. You know, because I don't know exactly where I'm at and stuff, but I don't know. It's like he's been talking to me and stuff, and I'm like, you know, you look at the stuff like, I need something to make me just turn against you. I need something to, you know, make me not want to go. And and I know, I guess it's almost like a bait. I'm baiting you and stuff. I'm, and once I get you there, you know, that I can flip up on you. But at the end of the day, I don't know. It's just that I think my whole thing is that I'm going to share something with you. I didn't share before. Before I used to be wish the wish that I, I would wish. I know this is bad, so forgive me. But I used to wish that they come home because I wanted to just, the little bit I would give up everything. I had to come home, like, you had to throw me out on the streets. And then I would just, you know, just have to be there and stuff. And I was like, well, let it happen. You know, I get put on the streets. I get put into this shelter because I was just, I've been, like, really tired of being here. You know what I mean? That's why the doctor had me on suppressants, on depressants. Because I just got tired of seeing so many things. And, Everybody's moving on with their life. Everybody's moving forward, and I'm still here. And the problem that I had, like, I was dating a lot of guys and stuff, but it's always been different guys, same situation, different guys, same situation, black guy, white guy, Indian, Haitian, whatever case may be, but they never went to the extent that I wanted them to go to because of their problematic of society. It's never been me. They'll run, they'll come on this channel, and they'll duck down in the comments and just look, you know, and see what I'm talking about next. But at the end of the day, they'll realize that I'm le I'm thinking about leaving and going um, out of the states and stuff. Whether it's good or bad, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm just like, I'm there, you know what I mean? It's like, you already know, like, if you already been following, you know, I've been there. But it's like, though, hook, I've been waiting for somebody just to pull me out and... To the point where I'm just like, I'm, I'm to the point where I'm like, whatever happens, happens, you know what I mean? It's like if I become homeless, if it doesn't work out, I end up on the streets. I'll just figure it out, because I've always been figuring things out. And I know you're like, Raven, don't put yourself in a situation, but I feel like this. In any situation where you're in someone for a year or two years, and we all move in together, you really not know how it's going to be successful or dramatic. Because there's people with someone for 10 years, and a lot of girls like us know. That we're dating them and they're paying us at the end of the day. He ain't happy. But I'm saying that's me right about now. But just what I'm saying. But the thing about it is that, you know, I, I'm trying to do more research on him and stuff. And not trying to feel he's a killer. And, you know, I'm trying to look at everything as such as a dark side. Because a lot of times, by me having such a dark past, I'm wearing all that in it. You know, sometimes you could actually slide that into something that has nothing to do with him and I. So, you know, he's been talk very adamant and, you know, talking to me and, um, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, it's like, I, it's like, you know what I mean, it's like, you know, you've been praying for somebody to pull you out of something, to pull you out of something, he has no idea of it, and then all of a sudden, if somebody comes to pull you out, like, oh, should I do it or should I not, and, you know, it is what it is, I'm like, I really have nothing to keep me back, I have one best friend, which is on Instagram, and that's it. And I haven't told him yet, but at the end of the day, this is what it is. And I want to share this with you because I'm trying to share my little journey with you just in case it all goes bad. And y'all see on the camera saying, Oh, baby, this is you said, Oh, bitch, the girl is danger. Get up, fuck it down. What's they call it? Go find me. You gotta get this bitch out of here. You know, it is what it is. I don't know, but I don't, I'm keeping you in the loop. You know what I mean? So, kids, they think it's all. You like, well, the bitch already told us from the beginning, and it's to the end, you know what I mean? I don't want to be like, all of a sudden, the blue sky, you know, I'm just popping up, right? Get me out of here, you're like, well, bitch, where you at? You know, so, you know, it's in Florida, like I said before, and I want to share this with them, sharing this journey with me, because, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes you have to take a leap into society and take a chance, and it's very much, it's very much not me, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I've been looking for an out for so long, and I don't know. I'm still struggling because you know I'm a Gemini, so I struggle with this one. It's like, ah, um, and you know I'm 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 headstrong and stuff, and I know me if we don't work out, I'm a split. You know, I'm I'm out. But um, I'm still doing research and stuff, and I'm still trying to find out how it's gonna work out in reference to me and this person. Um, very successful, but that's not the thing with me because me and successful men do not get along very well, and. 
you just seem to be different. Wait Got to be all of the side, you know, just to get me the real person come here. Come here for a minute. Girl, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. You okay? Ooh. Okay. Excuse me. And then the real person comes out and stuff, and I, I'm in my, find myself in a situation and stuff. You know, so I, I just want to share this with you. I'm trying to keep you updated in reference to the bait, Raven. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm, I'm really, to be honest, he, he wanted me to fly out today. Tickets paid for and everything, but I was like, no, I'm not ready yet. He was like, well, you know, I want more with us, and he's saying a lot, but to me, myself, uh, I don't know. So, I know some be like, Raven, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, but the thing about it is, it's been like the thing I've been needing to go, you know what I mean? But it's not like I'm leaving you, unless, unless I end up in the coffin and I left you, but, you know, God forbid. But um, I'm just sharing this with you because I want you to be very much aware of everything of, Betty, I, was, I guess I call it Raven's new life. No, I call it the bait, look. I call it the bait. So this is when you say, oh, the bait's coming up. The bitch got to remember the story what's going on. So I call it the bait. So when you see the bait comes across the screen, you know to come in and keep looking out for your big sister. Because at the end of the day, it is what it is. Anyway, I just wanted hey. to share that with you and stuff. And also subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build my family. I'm out of breath. I don't know. I just got to say, I don't know. Um... Subscribe to my channel. I said this is too much for me. As you said, I didn't take my, you know, my pressure pills. I'm out of breath, so obviously, you know, it's to be bothering me. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Rave underscore over. Please follow me on Instagram now, because basically that's where you really going to get the feed of everything going on. In case I can't get to no computer Google, I can always go on that Instagram and send you what's going on. So make sure you subscribe to Rave underscore over. Hit that button at the top. Go into Instagram. So make sure you follow me and find what's going on with your big sister. Anyway. I love you. If you back on this, and I'm not gonna say it, make it to a negative thing. We gotta start seeing things from your positive. It's better to try and fail than to never have tried at all. Anyway, I just want to share this with you, and I love you. Your feedback. I want you to have a safe Valentine's, and I want you to love you. And thank you for watching. Get three. All right, now subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Come on, let's go on Instagram, Raven. Like I said before, follow me on Instagram. That's Raven underscore over. Raven underscore over. This way you get a chance to see a lot more of my reality behind the scenes. And a lot of things that I'm going to put on YouTube through the copyright reasons. And of course, I want you really to follow me as more than ever now. Because I don't know what I'm going to do. I may actually just split and leave. But at the end of the day, you got connection to find out exactly what is going on. So like I said before, subscribe to Raven underscore over. Instagram will hit that Instagram button at the top or raven over at yahoo.com and also I want you to make sure you stay in contact with me and when I see you on Instagram don't worry boo -boo. when I see you I'm gonna follow you back and let you know one thing love you